By now, you can tell that game environments represent most of what you can see when playing a video game, which means it is incredibly important. People responsible for building these environments in video games are simply referred to as environment artists. A video game environment artist is someone who builds the assets that go into the game environment. They are responsible for creating the majority of the overall visuals the player will encounter on the screen. They do model, often texture and sometimes light their environments specializing in outdoor or indoor locations for video game setting. Sometimes the work that the video game environment artist and the game level designer do intersect. And sometimes these two titles are kind of used interchangeably because usually level designers are responsible for designing the levels, taking the assets that the environment artist has created and assembling them into the environment. Also, making approximate collision so that the player isn't colliding with every little detail, in addition to optimizing geometry so that the level runs at a manageable frame rate, and help bring life to the world that people are gonna dive to. Environment artistry has become an increasingly desired field of work since the rise of console gaming, and with more growth of game world building and better gaming hardware comes better environments. Also, there is usually direct correlation between the time spent and the quality of the desired environment, because the more time they spend on it, the better it looks and the more immersive it becomes. In reality, there is not a specific to do as a video game environment artist, because it depends on the position you hold within the company, whether it be a junior, mid-level or senior artist, in addition to the team size and the status of the project that you are working on. When working as a junior video game environment artist, in this position, you are normally scheduled to do smaller props and environment areas. And when talking about a senior video game environment artist at this level, the designer will have a chance to work on more important hero assets and take care of whole multiplayer or single player levels. Also, with the number of people involved in creating a level, he will also have to manage and organize a lot of people involved in the creation process. During the early phase, an environment artist spends days blocking out the modules and levels, creating the first materials and getting a couple of levels in a playable state to create a first playable demo to see if all the gameplay elements work together. After that proof of concept, it is all about getting the levels done in a more polished state with a first texture and art pass. For most areas, you will be mainly working on architectural elements. Normally, an environment artist will also be placing props and decals on the level and also work on the composition. Once all the art is in-game and won't change anymore, it is all about polishing, bug fixing and optimization. In order for the video game environment artist or level designer to perform better at his job, there is a certain knowledge and skills that are not directly related to creating 3D game environments but have a great impact on the speed of the process and the quality of the environments he is able to create. Concept art that shows the environment artist's drawing skills is a plus because it helps you stand out and contribute to the vision of the environment you are creating, but it is not necessarily needed. This is the case because 2D artists will provide the environment artist with the concepts and the overpaint that he can work with, but being able to do quick sketches is gonna help him iterate the design ideas faster. Also, a very important part of this job is understanding interior design. It is all about supporting the person's experience in space, which is the exact same thing we want to do with the game environment design. A video game environment artist should make a place that conveys simple information to players and get them to where they are going. So the artist should give the player a sense of direction using interior design techniques that will guide them to the end of the level without directly telling them where to go using science or something like that. For example, real-world interior environment such as a metro or an airport. Also, a video game environment artist has to have basic understanding of architecture. You don't have to have a degree in architecture, nor do you have to know everything about all the architectural styles. Just being proficient in looking at buildings and being able to know what an architectural style is from is very important, in addition to when did that style originate and so on. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also check some of our previous videos Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.